Welcome to the Full Throttle Saloon Project. Like this video, join our Patreon, and subscribe. Previously on Full Throttle Saloon. Don't talk, Phil, coming to your cabin. Is he okay? There's no telling how long you've been. Me over. I swear to God, on my wife. B County roll down. What are you gonna do on this Thursday? Are you gonna do some kind of stunt or are you gonna cut your ball off? I promise my wife and my daughter no more stunts. And tonight. We got the one and only Big and Rich out there tonight in our backyard. How's our pre sales going? 130 tickets. But 130? Start pushing them tickets. Big and Rich box office is right around this way. Get out those tickets. Courtyard's empty. The field's empty. Where the all the people. I'm for the year. This is my wife, Penny. She's from another country called Indiana. <laughs> he told her he wouldn't do any stunts. I mean, I've been doing this for damn 25 right. damn years. Don't lay it on me. I got something to do. I can't go looking for him. I didn't. Did I ask you, dumbass, to go look for him? I didn't, did I? <laughs> sucker. And when you see him, tell him to come find me. It's gonna be a great show. Full throttle saloon. Welcome, Full Throttle Saloon. How are y'all doing today? I hope you're having a great day today. It is Wednesday. Big, big, big deal on Wednesday night here. We got the one and only Big and Rich out there tonight in our backyard. And right after, we have the one and only Vince Steele from Motley Crue in the front. Have a great day, Full Throttle. Wednesday, make some noise. How's the Big and Rich thing going? Don't even ask. But what's our, where, how's our pre-sales going? <laughs> you don't even want to know. It's like, it's that bad. Like 130. You gotta be kidding me. Uh-uh. Oh my God. Mike was certain that this Big and Rich concert was gonna be a slam dunk. That's why I went in with him 50-50 on the deal. But based on these pre-sale numbers, we got more than our work cut out for us. 130? God almighty, man. That ain't even a damn drop in the bucket. No, but I mean, we, we both know it's going to be 130? 130 tickets. But I mean, there'll be a walk up. And when the people get to town, we, man, that is horse right there. God almighty. That's scary. The infield with Scott Wilden last night was a freaking disaster. Thank God Jesse was on the inside stage and rocked that inside bar. Now we got to get things going tonight with Vince Neal and Big and Rich out back. Otherwise, we could literally be watching $100,000 go down a drain. We can't afford that, dude. It's gonna be fine. We'll get through it. Let's get in the car and go down and hit up all the radio stations. You coming. Good, 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 good. All right. It's really difficult to get everything set up in uh, what used to be a parking lot yesterday and now needs to be a fully fledged uh, concert arena. Hey guys, this is Jesse James Dupree, and you are listening to my close personal friends, those indignant, rude, inconsiderate bastards, free beer and hot wings right here on K-Sky. Pa-pow! We got some special guests in the studio with us today. Michael Ballard and Jesse James Dupree, full throttle yeah. saloon, guys. How you doing? We've got the Big and Rich concert out back. It's Big and Rich. We have Big and Rich in the back. I mean, it's, it's the greatest place to watch a concert because you got the full throttle to your right, and you got the Black Hills to your left. It'll be a big party for sure. What's Jesse gonna do this year for his stunt? You know, man, I haven't, haven't I done enough? Last year, like, you blew yourself up. Do you have anything up your sleeve? Yeah. Or are you thinking like, yeah, I never have had anything on my sleeve. This stuff just kind of unfolds in front of me. All right, thanks for coming in, fellas. Well, thanks for having us, man. Good luck this year. Appreciate it. All right, so what you're saying is that Vince has to fly out tonight right after the show, and if we go with these times that I currently have, uh, he's not gonna make it on time, right? Vince Neil wants to push up his showtime a little earlier, but, you know, Jesse was really clear that he didn't want the inside and the outside stages to overlap. I'm gonna run it by Jesse, and then we'll, we'll go from there. All right, does that sound good? I'm just hoping that the band's cool with pushing up their time a little bit, and that the fans might show up early enough for the show to really pop tonight. All right, cool, I'll call you right back. Oh, man, I quit. I hope this damn moves some big and rich tickets. Hey. Hey, 
I just did sit in. Yeah, look, Vince Neil has to catch a plane out of here tonight, so he needs to leave early. Do you want uh, Vince Neil's show to be a half hour shorter, or do we have Big and Rich go a little early? All that. You know, just call the Big and Rich people. They're cool. Ask them if they'll agree to move Big and Rich up to 9 p.m. instead of 9.30. Right. Well, hopefully Big and Rich's guys will agree. That's not good numbers. 200 tickets for Big and Rich is what we've sold. 201. Right on. Right on. That's not good enough. Not good enough. No. Well. I need to be. We're missing a zero in there. <laughs> 2010? 2010 is what I like. Well, I think Big and Rich has kind of like a, a pretty big following. I just don't think it's biker Big and Rich, you know, following. What I want you to do is try and catch people to sell Big and Rich tickets so we get our ticket sales up. I'm getting a little bit nervous because our numbers don't look good. How you doing? I knew I, knew, I thought I'd come on catch, but I knew you wouldn't be very busy. No. Hey, hey, how you doing? Good to see you, sir. Jack Hoyle is the son of Pappy Hoyle, who started the Pappy Hoyle Motorcycle Rally. We got about 300 people signed up for the ride. We're going to Crazy Horse this time. Oh, you're going to Crazy Horse this time. Right? Arm. OK, be fine. Today's the fifth annual Pappy Hoyle Motorcycle Ride. And some of the proceeds we get today are going to go to the Crazy Horse Memorial. And uh, we'll have some fun. Angie and I are looking forward to this ride, because it's the only downtime we get for the week. Well, that's good. I'm glad. And, and and I'm gonna mention that kind of stuff. I got. I can give you a little bit of fun. You can have at the next Sturgis board meeting. Oh, what's that? They won't carry our moonshine at Sturgis I, Liquor. I I know. I, I I this manager. We gotta put him back in a coffin and send him to, back to California where he belongs. <laughs> you know? There you Treat go. Yeah. That's not a good deal. That guy's a disgrace. Give Thank me one you, more sir. hug for Hello. the road. That's the best part of the trip. <laughs> Welcome to the Full Throttle Saloon, baby. Oh, yeah, it's Full Throttle! Rise and shine. You just wake up? <laughs> kind of. Y'all have got to get ready. What are, what, what are y'all doing? Let's hop to it, because we got to go downtown. We got to sell these tickets. We got 3,985 tickets to sell today. Yeehaw! Where's the girls that I brought here? The, one, the pretty ones that were here yesterday. Hey. Uh, seriously, no, y'all y'all gotta hurry. We gotta get. Y'all can't lay out all night and party and then get your ass up and get to work. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> hey, I'm yeah. just I'm just gonna put things in perspective for you. There's a hundred thousand dollars we're gonna damn lose on this thing if we don't sell some tickets. So please hurry! <laughs> Are you good with that? Get one more. Huh? Put it up there. Damn. Hey, good looking. What's your name? Oh, oh, that's Mr. Free. I'm sorry. I apologize. Jesse might, might, might fire me. <laughs> Man, come on. I don't know what to do. There's the lead sled guys. They ain't going to be able to stay there. God almighty, this is getting out of hand and quick with everybody piling in here sitting up. Hey, fellas, how y'all doing? Just giving you a heads up, this is not going to be able to stay here. Yeah, we got a big concert going on back here. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What's your name? I'm Jesse. Yeah, well, we got told to be over here, so that's where we're going to be until we get told otherwise. Then we, we had, I had this conversation with you guys last year. I wasn't here last year. Yeah, well, dude. We got a lot of people set up here. We got about 15, I got you, 15 people. Hey. It, it, it's a whole Move. I got you, but this field is this field is mine for what we're doing this concert, mm -hmm. and so I, I got to figure out what I'm gonna do with you. So let me we'll talk to Mike Ballard, see what he has to say. We'll talk to my boss Pat, see if you want to do. But in the meantime, this is where we're at. So figure it out. We'll, we'll work some out, I'm sure. Okay. All right. Tell dude man to come find me when you see him. You uh, you can come find him. Do what? You can come find him. Me come find him? Yeah. No, I told you, son, to have him find me. What the f your attitude. I don't have an attitude. I, I just asked him. you to come tell me. I can't go just looking around for him. I didn't say go look for him. I said, when you see him, tell him to come find him. I got something to do. I can't go looking for him. I did. Did I ask you dumbass to go look for him? I didn't, did I? I guess you did. Better mind your manners, kid. Fucking <laughs> sucker. And when you see him, tell him to come find me. Dumbass. I'll just put their ass sitting out by the damn door. <laughs> damn it. Big and rich. 
Does he have a good science? Yeah. Hearing that little peanut's heartbeat, there's not words that even come close to being able to describe how I feel about what's going on right now. You know, that little baby is only the size of a peanut, but I already love it. This next nine months is going to be a fun ride. Congrats, you guys. Thank you so much. The Australians are back. We We're love back. that. We all come back well, you brought, you brought him with you? Yeah. yeah, I brought that. That's on the they other let, side. They let you through customs? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they invite me in with the stuff they, I bring. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> this is my wife, Penny. She's from uh, she's from another country called Indiana. <laughs> so we're glad to have you. Thank you. Have you met Angie yet? Not yet. They'll both be here within five minutes. We are supposed to be pulling out in one minute. When people sign up for the Pappy Hoyle ride, they expect that they're going to be riding with Mike, Angie, and myself, and it's going to be our family time with them. Oh, gosh. Are Mike and Angie coming? Unless something's changed. Damn, all these people lined up. I don't know what to do. Are Mike and Angie coming? Unless something's changed. Damn, all these people lined up. I don't know what to do. Yeah, must have stunk good to be this year. We're supposed to be pulling out on this Pappy Hall ride right now. Hey. We're right here in the cab area. Here's the deal. I'm going to ride in a truck with Daisy because I'm bike to up. I don't know how this is going to fly. We can get you another bike. Oh, goodness. So you guys are going to follow in the truck, huh? That's a bummer. I was looking forward to riding with you. Angie and I spent the last two years trying to get pregnant, and with the complications we had in the past, I'm not taking any chances. I told her my bike was broke down, and then we'd just meet everybody at Crazy Horse. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Pappy Hoyle Motorcycle Rally 2013 Annual Pappy Hoyle Ride. It's going to be a good day today. It's going to be a great day. We thank everyone. It, you know, it's really cool. It just the front of the line, we got a whole group from Australia that is joining us. So that's good. We're, we're, we're proud to have them as part of the Throttle family. We got a great day lined up for you. We're going to Crazy Horse today. A portion of today's proceeds will go to help Crazy Horse. I'd like to introduce to you a soft-spoken man, which is ironic because he gave birth to somebody not so soft-spoken, <laughs> Miss, Miss Angie right here. So Angie's father, Randy. So I'd like to ask him to step up here and lead us in a prayer. We hope that we have a safe ride today. Bless our ride. Bless the cause that we're riding for. And we're all going to meet up with Captain Hoyle someday. Amen. Amen. It's a great day. Thank you, Randy. Everybody's going to race down on their horns right in front of the Sturgis liquor store in protest of them not carrying the full throttle saloon shot. Let that manager know he can kiss our ass. Yeah. We got the sun shining, we got the one and only big and rich out there today in our backyard. Have a great day, full throttle. We have six bars out here. Probably got about two hours in each one of these bars. We should be able to make it, but there's we got a lot of other things too we gotta take care of before we open the doors. Hey, got lighter. Anybody got lighter? 
I know somebody here smokes. Ever since Michael fired Big John, he put me back in charge of the hot dog stand. Nah, I didn't go like. Now it's broke, and I gotta get it up and running. And by that, I definitely gotta find somebody else to do it for me. Are you uh, really busy? Yeah. Are you working with that dude? I don't, know, I don't know how to do I'm trying to work on the grill, man. What's wrong, Peter? But you are in charge of the kitchen, so you have more of that than I do. You understand that? Peter? Yeah, maybe a little. You are in charge of the kitchen. So, what are you going to do about the thing that's out up at the hot dog machine? I'm going to tell Armando he's going to deal with it. No, oh, you're going to go ask Armando nicely. Uh, yeah, Can you help uh, us out at the full throttle? We got this. This is down. He, well, he told me he knew how to do it. Okay. Okay, great. But don't just go touch No, me. no, I don't mean it like no, that. No, don't touch me. <laughs> don't touch me. Look, you're you lucky you're in charge. I'm putting one on you right Bye. now. Hi. Armando. Michael, turn it over to you. Can we please go ahead and do it? I got way too much going on up there. If I get tools, uh, we, we got a tool shed right there, or we get mad. I need to give me a ratchet set. A ratchet set? <sighs> Let me find some tools. I wish we could have rode with everyone else, but just to be away from the chaos makes up for it. I love this place. You guys have never been here before. Go in and check out the story of the man that, that started carving this thing, an artist and from such. Boston. Yeah, and uh, was from where? He was from Boston. He's from Boston? Yep. <laughs> okay, he was from Boston. <laughs> Let's get, are you from Boston? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. So, so anyway, it's one of my favorite places ever. So, this thing in a couple of years, they might have Mike Ballard. They were gonna put my head up there, but they can't find a mountain that's big enough. So, so, so. <laughs> summer beef, summer ham, and summer turkey. So. <laughs> You want my cheese stick? Heck yeah, I want your cheese stick. <laughs> She's got me on a diet. She won't let me eat them. So what's your stunt this year? Yeah. Ask her. What's his big stunt this year? You better not have one. Hey, Jesse, what's the stunt going to be this year? <laughs> oh, he's not doing a stunt. Oh, one of these people. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think we're, I'm moving past all that. What's well, Jesse going to blow up this yeah, year? Oh, it's going to be big. You got to come see it. It's going to be good. <laughs> well, yeah. so now he's changed his mind. All of a sudden, he won't stunt. I've been put on probation by my wife and little girl. So. <laughs> Thank you guys good so much. Uh, nice to meet y'all. Thank you for coming. We appreciate you. Meet you, man. you too, buddy. Full Throttle Saloon! And they came out of from Brazil for this! Full Throttle rocks! Hi. Hey. Full Throttle Tool Room. A little bit of everything, but nothing you need. <laughs> Cowboy. Hey, go over there to Jason and get me a ratchet set. You got it? You coming with it? Lift up, lift up. Just the man I need. I need a ratchet set. You ain't gonna? Hey, Barney, you got a ratchet set? Yeah, yeah what do you need time? I gotta take that regular layer apart. Let me send you what I got. That ain't big, is it? Got a ratchet to it? Okay, cool. Good, problem solved. Thank you, brother. Yep, make sure he knows where it was at. Yeah, I will. Now, Mister, I don't want you to get hurt. I don't want you to do a stunt, all that stuff. Ballard's turned around on me. And then, of course, you've heard everybody that down comes up ask what's the stunt going to be. I like doing crazy stuff and having fun with it. So it's something you really want to do? I just don't want to be prohibited from not doing what I want to do. I, it ain't not that, I, I, I don't even know nothing I don't know it's just prohibiting the point of you from anything. You talked to Thea about it. And she said, you not do any stunts and you told her you wouldn't do anything to hurt yourself so if it's not if you're going to do something that you're not going to hurt yourself then i'm fine with it but you're just going to have to explain it to her i can't go home and you know how why should i be explaining anything to anybody whenever i, be, I mean i've been doing this for damn 25 right. damn years well i'm not telling you you can't do anything look at me when have i ever told you you couldn't do anything never so 
and I'm not going. I'm not telling you you can't do it now. Well, what do we do about her? Well, you just have to talk to her about it. You got to put on a show, and if that's part of the show, then do it. And you got my back with Thea. You got your back. And she'll be. As long as you don't hurt yourself. <laughs> I'm not going to hurt you. Hello. I love you too. I'm going to jump off Crazy Horse. No, you're not. Yeah. No, you're not. Let's go up and do it right now. No, you're not. You ready? <laughs> no, you're not. Hmm? No, you're not. Come on, let's go do it. <laughs> I got rats in the Travel the time. Here we go. It's fixed. It's fixed. You can have your fun. Make Christmas. It's awesome. Make the competition money they need. Alright. You've already pulled all the tickets from the bar and they're doing the count on those inside the, the, the bank? Yes. There are some. Um... The five stores in Rapid. And how did how and, and how did they do? They only sold three tickets. They only sold three? Three tickets sold. Unbelievable. Yeah, it was kind of a last minute thing. We should have had banners up. We needed signs. We needed something more, I guess. Damn, that's a hell of a time now to figure that out. All right, we got a mountain to climb tonight, brother. <laughs> it's not gonna be good. Penny gave me a green light today on the stunts. She did? <laughs> I'm not, I don't have nothing planned. I got it figured out. Yeah, you probably do, because you got the boys in the van thinking about it. How'd you find out about that? Because I walked in on their dumbasses. They got me catching bullets with my teeth. And <laughs> that ain't funny. You can do it! <laughs> Hey, baby girl, what are you doing? No, I'm so, uh, so Daddy's got a big show tomorrow night. It's the one day a year that I, I get to act a fool, in addition to all the other days in the year that I act a fool. But this is my special night, and I like to, I like to push. That's every day of the year. <laughs> no, it's, that's every day of the year. <laughs> Thank you, Thea. So listen, baby, I was going to ask if it's OK with you for me. I've already to... got tomorrow, Daddy. It's OK if you do it stuff. For real, you're okay with it? Yeah, just don't die. Full throttle! I need two ID checkers um, and then security on the field. Ticket sales on Big and Rich are down this year. You know, it's down more than what we thought it was going to be, and maybe we'll have a big surprise tonight with people wanting to come in and purchase tickets at the gate. You good? Yeah. Is there a drop box? Or... Oh, hell no. Just put it underneath your drawer. We're kind of like we're in the boondocks out here. That's what I'm talking about. Where's, where's Pat at now, you know? Well, no. Okay. Um, is it going to take Pat before you guys can move this stuff? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, would y'all would y'all do me a favor? Can y'all call Pat or see? Get again your reception out here. I get the sense that you're just being difficult. I don't know why you think that. I mean, he doesn't get reception out here. I mean, I, I, I He doesn't get reception yeah. out here? A lot of people don't. Half our crew doesn't. Okay. We have a trailer down there at the, at the front of the parking lot. We're set up. You can go to you can see if he's down there. No, uh, where are you put all everybody else? I tell you what, dude. Where are you gonna put everybody else? Wherever the I'm gonna put, I'm moving everything up to the top of the hill. Uh, but, but whenever uh, y'all get broke down, and when you get ready, I'll take you up and show you where you're gonna go. So I'll come back in a couple hours, and y'all be ready to go, and we'll put you where you're going. Right. Or you or Pat can call me if he comes back. I left him my number. Wants to be a damn little smart ass, but he ain't gonna step up and man up about it. He let his little nuts drop and do something, do something about it. Ah. Coming here, it's kind of like a Halloween every day, but it's kind of like sexy. I'd like to buy that I had a 
get to meet people from like all over the place. They come from different states, they all have like different stories, they share about their bikes, they share about what they've seen, what they like, all kinds of stuff. One big plus here. Okay, let's get a view. There you go. People are tipping better up here. I wonder why? I'm worried about what's going to walk up and what I Damn, let's hope we have one. I've got Big and Rich concerts being advertised. X-Rock, K-Sky, Eagle Country, Cat Country, Kick Country, and Billboards up. And been on the website for two months. So I'd, I've got everything that we could possibly do. So let's start pushing them tickets. Well, is that a stress reliever? Between you and my pregnant wife, I need two of these some bitches. I was here first. <laughs> Just remember that. We've sold 137 pre-sale tickets, three in Rapid City and now 18 in Sturgis. That's a grand total of 158 tickets. We are Before my life. So hopefully this will turn out. You gotta push the big and rich concert. It's happening in the backfield. My DJ name is Rockwell Kako. This is the new DJ right here, DJ Jazzy P right here. Four foot seven with a 12 inch attitude. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna introduce to you now Club of Pals new DJ. Would you please all welcome, take it over the microphone, DJ Jazzy P. Make some noise, yeah! If you want to, you can make a left turn at any point. At any point. You can make a right turn. Right turn. Just don't ever follow the straight and narrow. No. You got it. All right. So crank it up. Here we go. Hey, don't forget to stitch your tickets for Big and Rich. It's going to be a great show. All right. I just came from that duck guy and he said that he has had your bike ready to go so you could take it on the Hoyle ride. Like, you told me it was broke. You said we couldn't go because of the, some air ride thing or something. I know, I know. I just didn't want you riding on the bike. Just, I just didn't want you on there right now. Well, why crazy. didn't you just tell me that? Because I, I knew you wanted to go. I know you wanted to ride. I know, I could still go. We, I, we still went, didn't we? Yeah, but which was fine. We went in the truck. That was good. I know, but you could have rode your bike. That kind of stuff, you can just tell me. Just say, I don't feel comfortable with you doing that. Well, it's because you're pretty good at catching me lying, so I figured <laughs> I'd carry it a little deeper where you didn't know what I was talking about. <laughs> Jerk. You know, there's a difference between lying and the things that you actually tell your wife. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep her safe to avoid any extra conflict down the road. Just tell me All next right. time. All right, I know. Yeah, we're helping the veterans. Are you kidding me? That's my responsibility. Well, we just had a tribute honoring our heroes in Hot Springs with the wall and a great big ride on Sunday. All the money went to the state veterans' home. I'm the assistant director down there, and 
That's why I painted my bike up like that, because I do good, parades and everything. I love yeah, man, it's important that we all do our part to support our men and women in uniform. But whenever you have time, I'm going to be around. I'd love to show you my bike. I'll come over and check it out. Thank you, sir. Jesse, what's your crazy so stuff for tomorrow? Is this still a secret? You know what? It's funny you ask. <laughs> Because I, I, I just had an idea. Uh, uh, y'all, uh, y'all hang tight. Let me, uh, let me knock some things out that I got to do. Uh, y'all gonna be around for a little Thank bit. Thank you, brother. I'll come out. I, I gotta go take care of something. Thank you, Lynn. Lynn, what are you doing, man? I need you to wake up and do something for me. Working out through this bacon, baby. Here. Ah, uh, you look good in the morning, Lynn. You, I didn't realize you're such a morning person. <laughs> I need something that's shaped like this, some teeth like this, and a hinge right here. And when this pulls up, there needs to be a rope here. What do I make it out of them old Plymouth car hoods out back? You got I mean, I'm just back brainstorming here, but. You see what I'm talking about, though? So how big you want? What do you, what do you, what I do we crush? I want, this is just, some, just imagine jackal jaws. Just think, think jackal jaws. Just. Yeah, I got you. I would need that. Hey, Everything good? Yeah. I mean, I hate to have to do this to you. I just, uh, but did, this is, uh, this year, we're, we're coming up further with the stage, up, up close to the blind. But let me, let me show you up here where we're looking at going. Uh, Wait, you already been up there and looked? Yeah, we already found a spot. I was gonna go up there and go right on that side up here. Yeah, okay. All right, all right, dude. Well, um, I appreciate y'all being cool about it. All right, you got it, man. Thank, I appreciate y'all's patience right. and understanding. And what we'll, we'll is y'all grab your space up there and make it your own, and we'll get it worked out. And we'll rock it. Thanks, Thank guys. Ladies. Gates with a big and reg concert. Went in about 40 minutes. Typically in the past, we've had lines waiting to get in. So I'm a little worried right now that I don't have a line waiting to get in. So. Put your big girl panties on. Let's just get this rock and roll in. Okay. Woo! <laughs> Where's it now? Mikey, 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 Oh, yeah. good, good. Big Kenny's been a lifelong friend of the Full Throttle, and they're gonna put on one hell of a show tonight. He's got a good crowd out there, but Jesse and I need a damn great crowd to get out of this one. You know, John? I haven't ever met John. John. Michael Ballard. I'm Mike, I'm the owner here. Nice to see you, Nice to see you. Yeah, glad to have you. He's a guy of beltless insanity. Yeah. Beautiful. Big and rich style, I'm saying. Thank you very much. Yeah, man, glad to have you here. It's gonna be a fun night. Woo! Woo! Well, the bar up around the corner. Everybody's gonna get down. Woo! And they're Josh, down. This should be a fun night, man. We'll strap it on them for you. Oh, I know you will. I know. There should be thousands of people here, but there's not. We're really not ringing a lot on the registers. We've sold maybe about 10 or 11 drinks, so it is a little slow right now. Oh, that don't look good at all. all the way up to our trash pile out there, and they're parked in front of our Ooh, own. There ain't nobody in the field. They're, they're parked out there. I'm telling you, it's just safe. Who, who's parked park out there? They, the courtyard's empty? The field's empty? Everybody. Where the f*** are the people at? They're, they're parked out there. You can't, you can't go nowhere. There may be a lot of people out in that parking lot right now, but they're not making their way back to the Big and Rich concert. I know what I gotta do. The courtyard's empty, the field's empty. They're parked all the way up to our trash pile out there, and they're parked in front of our Ooh, road. Where the f are they? There ain't nobody in the field. There may be a lot of people out in that parking lot right now, but one thing's for certain, they're not making their way back to the Big and Rich concert. I know what I gotta do. You're not, you're not leaving, are you? Just, just, you you're looking for parking space? Yes, you looking for parking space for Big and Rich? Y'all enjoy yourself. Right up, the, right up this road right here is Big and Rich. Go right up there and they'll hook you right in. Big and Rich tickets are right up this way. Yeah, you come this way, please. 
Where's my damn parking person at? Yo, I, I'm trying to get people to go up to the Big and Rich ticket box office. They don't know where they're going, and nobody's standing here directing them. Big and Rich box office is right around this way. Just spot it right around this steps here. Follow this road right to the box office. Thanks, guys. I'm right at the corner. You know where the bus stop is? I got to have two bodies out here in this parking lot to help me get things together. Hey, Jesse is needing two guys down at the cabin by the cabin office in that corner right there. He said it's a nightmare up, up there. Bro, Jesse, where's my guy at? Why is he over there? I need him over here. Jesse, hey, come Jesse, here, bro. Jesse, let's go. Right there, bro. Let's go. That's not going to work. Why? I need a man, and I need him in an orange shirt, and I want him to have a voice on him. She's a police officer. I'm pretty sure she can okay, be loud. Okay, then get me, get me somebody that can do this. Please don't put debate. Just give me somebody that's got some authority. Him. I'm not trying to tell you how to do your job, so don't get your feelings hurt. I'm, I'm just not saying, getting my feelings hurt. I'm just right. saying, I want somebody that's got a loud voice to damn get over here and start directing me because I've been sitting here for an hour waiting on some help. Gotcha. Okay. Point, there ain't enough people out in the field to even fill up a damn high school gym. If it stays this way, we are screwed. What the hell is she doing? We are very clear on what our bartenders can and cannot do. There is a fine line not to cross. They can be sexy and they can shake that thing, but they cannot cross that line. Get that shot, girl, and take her ass over to Sean's office right now. Pat's that ticket to the office, though. I'm a bartender, I'm not a shot girl, but I have to do shots for them. Girl that's doing movie shots. Yeah, everybody else is too. Does that make it right? Yeah, the girl the other night was doing shots. Okay, I'm talking about you. Of course, I get pulled by security and yell at that. You got orientation? Yes. Okay, did you listen to Michael Bell's attorney telling the girls how they could do shots, how they couldn't do shots? Did you pay I did. Everything's new to me. Not an excuse. Shot girls even new to me. Not, not an excuse. If they don't follow the rules and the expectations that we have at full throttle, are you checked out? What do you mean checked out? And they get fired. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. showed up? Man, I hope so. Man, that's only a quarter of the 4,000 people that we needed just to break even. We cost $100,000. Good night, Sturgis. just Andy and a lot of people are drunk. I want to get them off that field and down to the Vince Neil concert to really make that concert worth its while. Something's up with this Big and Rich deal. We got to figure it out. Big and Rich sell out every venue they play. So what happened here tonight has got to be our fault. I right, we'll just have to figure it out. Let, let's get through this one. Let's yeah, we get can, the bills paid. We, we got, I mean, I did, here, the, I mean, because it's not any reason for marketing. It ain't, I mean, the only thing I can think about is there's just so much stuff going on. Yeah, but the inside of the throttle's packed. I know. If Big and Rich had been my idea, Ballard would be up my ass so far right now. Well, I'm sitting here feeling over the Big and Rich. I'm just You don't understand it. This is my livelihood this week, and I'm down. 
And then that hit me and I asked, we need to go out there and push the out of this liquor tonight and make up some of this money. We need to get out in the bar. We need to recoup some of this money. We don't own that bar. Ballard owns that bar. My half of that 100K is gone and it stings. Like that's bull Hey, where are you going? God, I hate it. 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 What the f Jesse! Next time on Full Throttle Saloon. Hey, you crazy f how you doing? I need to push some shots tonight. They didn't bring that liquor today. Hell, I ordered 20 cases. I know, but they didn't bring it. Hot damn, this thing is badass. Say hello to your little friend. It is Jack all night at Full Throttle Saloon, baby. I busted my ass all day long trying to pull this day together. The light rig started going. Can I make my Jesse James bourbon come out of this? Had to get it. He's going to die on Jack O'Neill. Holy shit. That is a Penny gave me a green light today on the stunt. She did? I don't have nothing planned. So what's your stunt this year? I just had an idea. I need something shaped like this. Just think Jackal Jaws. We got the one and only Big and Rich out there tonight in our backyard. And right after, we have the one and only Vince Steele. The courtyard's empty. The field's empty. We just lost $100. $1, and tonight. Hey man, what a great night we're gonna have tonight. It's Jackal Night. We're gonna Next be time. wild. Jackal! Say hello to your little friend! <laughs> Showtime just a couple hours away. We got a long way to go and a short time to get there. What could possibly go wrong? We got a fight, man. He's running after me. He's running after me. Silver lining is everything for my stunt is falling into place. Hot damn, this thing is badass. Holy <laughs> that is a We gotta figure it out. Cause it's not any reason for marketing. It ain't, I mean, the only thing I can think about is there's just so much stuff going on. If Big and Rich had been my grand idea, I don't think Ballard would be taking it quite so easy. Cause we both just lost $50,000. We still got the Vince Neil crowd out there. We need to go out there and push shit out of this liquor tonight and make up some of this money. So if we don't get this fixed, I'm Michael keeps saying we have got to make this money up. We don't own that bar. Ballard owns that bar. He gets to damn recoup some of his money tonight with Vince Neil. Me, I'm out my half of the 100K and it stings. God, I hate it. 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 I need to push some shots tonight. I'm going to pull out every promotion that we got to make up for the losses tonight. Stars are about to go on for the second time tonight. Jesse has really overcommitted us this time. Where are the four chairs at? Outside. And what better way than to say God bless America? Michael Ballers, Full Thought Saloon, the rock stars out on our stage right now. There was only four up there, and he told me to use them for that stage. Okay, okay, we're just, we, we just want to mix it. I don't find the other two. It turns out those red chairs I used to mix it up a little bit belong to the Jesse James Bourbon Girls, and they were not happy that the rock stars used them. Amazing.
nice I, they I'm are pretty, to you. Yeah, it's I'm, really amazing they, how nice yeah, they are Yeah, but they, she's still not being nice because I don't think she knows who I am. They're really nice to you guys. They tore yeah. our heads off. We're not scared. We're not scared. Listen, that, wait, we never took you. I promise you I can afford chairs. They were the ones that were on there. I would not just take your chairs. There was four there. There was four there. And pretty much any time you're in a situation like this, the best way to handle it is in a professional way. Right. And you're not. You're not. You're, look at how you're acting right now. You should be more professional. Take a lesson. That's my first encounter with Jesse's bourbon girls. He got some, he got some real pros there, didn't he? Um, and you're not going to get very far in this business when you treat people like that. She's two seconds from getting kicked off the property. I hope that they learn it by maybe tomorrow or the next day. She has one more chance. Hey, how many cases of bourbon did we get delivered today for Jesse James? Those didn't come in today. That sucked. Tomorrow night's the Jackal concert. That's Jesse James bourbon night. It is not the time to be telling me that we're out of the Jesse James bourbon. Oh, I'm going to blow a gasket. Them bringing five cases over here tomorrow is not going to get it. That's going to be gone so quick. This is 100% pure, unadulterated bull They need to rush order about 100 cases of each product. Okay, let me just follow up with this and call you back. Call me back as soon as you can find out something. Thanks. We want to get a family in here. On the count of three, I want you to look at your neighbors and say, Shrink up! So my man here, dumb drunk. You've been touching on girls. I've already yelled at him like five times. He's gone. All right, now you're acting stupid. Tonight's been a wild night. We're spread pretty thin on our volunteers. <laughs> This guy fighting right here? Yeah. yeah. Get up. Oh, oh, oh. Get up. He's the one that come at me. Okay, relax then. Who was the one that came at you? My brother. Where's your brother at? Right there. That dude right there. Yeah. You know what happened? I'm the of the You're my voice of reason. Uh, here. Okay. They're brothers. The other brother is drunk. He's running his mouth off. Okay. So we had a couple of brothers in the infield deciding they want to have a family squabble here at the Full Throttle Saloon. One of the brothers got yoked in his face, had a little bit of blood. I get it, man. I got brothers. I got older. I got younger. The difference is I can take both of them. What happened? Hey, it's my brother. I know it's your brother, but why do you yoke your brother in the face? Oh, just driving and... All right. So you had a few too many beers tonight, right? Yeah. All right, cool. Hang out right here. I'm going to talk to your brother. I'm going to get you out of here tonight, all right? Cool. It's brotherly brother. I get it. I get it, all right? The younger brother here was a little bit tougher than the older brother knocked him on his ass. Big guy, talk to me real quick. You want to press charges against your brother? No, no. I didn't think so. Do you want the ambulance here for that cut on your face? No. Do you want my EMT to look at your face? No. All right, so you're good to go home? Yeah. Did, did, you, did you come here with your brother? No. Are you going to fight when I take you off the property? Yeah, no, I'm Okay, fine. my boys are going to walk him out. You guys are going to give each other a hug and make up. Cool? That we're not going to. All right, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Watch out for that mud puddle. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday, man. Thank you, Michael. How old are you? 22. 22. You know, I put a lot of responsibility on Fajita's plate this year. Come on. 
He can go have a good time with his son tonight, but I've constantly got to keep telling him he's not here to just party. I hope y'all are slinging some out, some. Yeah, no, I'm that. talking about some food because I wrote a check for fourteen thousand dollars for up there. Feed we're in it. We're it at thirty-five grand right now. Uh, feed is size killer. I'm telling you, we're murdering it. All right. Should be I careful, to... don't be slide, falling down now. Some slide down. We're not gonna be denied a good time tonight. I'm gonna show my son one birthday he'll never forget. Hey, getting older hurts. Yeah, we're back here by the vendor gate. We got intoxicated. So we had an individual. We asked him to leave numerous times. He decided he didn't want to leave. Look at me. We're on the property without permission. We asked you to leave three times. You did it. Got to again. Now we're asking for the property. You didn't Why ask me three times. Yes, we did. Be careful and have a good night. He's coming back on the property. He's coming back on the property. He's running after me. He's running after me. This has been one hell of a roller coaster ride today. Luckily, Vince Neal brought in a hell of a crowd, we rocked the house, and made up some ground for us, and our bartenders pushed it out of this liquor. All in all, we might have had a good night. It's late, I'm tired, burn out. This day has kicked my ass. Tomorrow is the jackal night. It's the biggest night of the rally for me. It's got to go off without a hitch. Coming up. I'm gonna get you stunt. I got it all figured out. Trust me, it's all good. You're gonna get what you wanted though, and it's gonna be badass. And later. What the hell are y'all doing? A really nice man on the internet offered to sell us a flamethrower. Say hello to my little friend. What could possibly go wrong? Okay. I just got a ride off yesterday. I got to move past it and get it behind me. I was so worked up last night, I couldn't even sleep. The silver lining is, everything from my stunt is falling into place. Bring her on. I've rented this giant crane, which is the key component to hoisting the jackal jaws and myself up over the crowd. Can we move this out of the way? This. Let me try to get this uh, smoker moved. How you doing? You don't know where these fellas are, do you? Who's that, Cassie? The smoker guys, yeah. Oh, I saw one of them around here earlier, but really? I don't know where they're at. I got, it's got to get moved forward, because the guy got to be able to get a crane up beside the stage. You know the guy that runs it? You know where, you got a number for them or anything? Oh, uh -huh. All right, the guys in the kitchen dropped the ball and didn't move it. I'll move on to plan B. B is in Bobcat. You reckon Gene Simmons from Kiss ever had to go out and move a smoker before his show? All right, you all right? It's all good. Yeah, you can come on back. Come on. I'm starting to breathe a little easier. Now. Tonight gonna be kicking. Here's to the full time. It's funny about close to 400 people for breakfast. We started running out of everything. We have a line outside of the door. It's ridiculous. We need to cut it off on the person. That's it. Killer breakfast. Come to full throttle. That entire back of that truck is nothing but video screen, and it's going 30 foot up into the air and going to blanket that inside of that courtyard over there. Really? Yeah. And we got about three or four cameras running around broadcasting up on that thing. And yours truly is going to be bigger in life and twice as ugly. <laughs> See that fence right there? I need, I need Ian to get some of the guys to undo that fence so that tractor trailer can back in here. All right. This is ridiculous. I'm going to be myself Wait for the food truck. If you tell me seven, I expect it is seven. Otherwise, I would have ordered more the other day, and I would have had extra care and never until the truck got here. I'm about to pull my hair out. We didn't get our food. Heidi didn't get his food. Pizza Shack didn't get their food. 
But if I run out of supplies, I have no customers. With no customers, I lose a ton of money. The feeder shacks down, the pizza shacks down, because you got all the stuff with the damn truck. I don't think Michael Ballard's gonna be very happy with that. He'll be there as soon as he can. Tell him to hurry the up. I'm losing a bunch of money. They said um, that you had uh, your wife's ashes. Yeah, yeah. Is it? yeah. This is the most intense day of the rally for me, but I'm gonna put everything on pause because a fellow biker brother asked me to help him spread his wife's ashes here at the Full Throttle. And how long ago did this happen? Uh, May the 28th. And we already had plans to come here. She's always wanted to come here, so I figured, you know, what better way to honor her? Well, man, it's, uh, it, mean, it means the world to us that, that you guys, you know, consider the, the Throttle family. She left behind a a family, two children, and obviously left behind a devastated husband as well. This is a beautiful setting right here, and, and it puts her right beside the full throttle. I'm at a loss for words. All I can do is offer a prayer and our hearts out to him and, and his children. We're here at the Full Throttle Saloon today, sitting beside beautiful Fort Meade underneath the gorgeous blue sky. We now commend these ashes to the, to the earth and so that Chastity could be at the Full Throttle Saloon where she had always wanted to go, and now she's finally made it. Thanks God to her loving family and, and her husband who are here with us. I miss you, baby. Thank you, man. Appreciate Sorry for your loss, man. Now, Chastity has got a place here at the Full Throttle as well. Thank you, thanks, brother. Great night we're gonna have tonight. It's Jackal Night here at uh, Simple Drama Saloon. Jackal, Jackal Rock! Rock. Yes. Yes. Well, the I see it is I'm gonna set this thing down and I keep my straps pretty tight so you got room to ride in and out without ever hitting a strap. I brought the crane in because I got this kick-ass stunt for the end of the show, but I've also come up with a great intro. My crane operator, Fritz, he's gonna lift me up from behind the stage, sitting on a badass sled sled custom chopper. He's gonna set me right down in front of that crowd on a platform. It's gonna be the most kick-ass intro ever. So we're gonna go it with no practice? I like doing things just one time. That's less chance for me to get hurt, right? I agree. I don't need to do it. All right. And so the rock stars are gonna do the moonshine one, but there's gonna be about 20, 25 minutes that I need for the Jesse James Bourbon Girls to get up there and do a show for the bourbon, because that's what today is. You know, I realized that the Jesse James Bourbon Girls are new to the profession, and we had our little altercation last night, but I'm all about empowering women. And what better way to do that than to have them share the stage with the rock stars? I just want to say, like, thank you so much for allowing us to come out here. We respect all of y'all. Yeah, you're, you're gonna do great. I just want to let you know that I'm so grateful. So we I'm really excited. It. Thank yeah. you. Tonight is the biggest night of the rally. It's Jackal Night. We're very excited to show everybody here at Full Throttle Saloon that FTS has the hottest, most talented women on Sturgis. This area right here opened up and rolled back because we gotta get that truck from that game. You're touching pee right now, you know? And not mine. Now I'm cutting back. There you go. I wanna get as close to it as I can. <laughs> God, that's badass. Yeah. It'd be killer to have one for a backyard barbecue, wouldn't it? 